Hi guys. Yes, I am wearing my dorky small cat ears. These aren't the best cat ears I have. The ones I have uh, are broken, unfortunately. It snapped in half when we were back in, uh, where were we? Uh, San Jose, I believe. I kept trying to super glue the damn thing so many times and it still fell apart. It made me sad. Those were my favorite pair of ears ever. I bought it in an anime convention last year. But yeah, anyways, uh, we just came from Charlotte, North Carolina. Had a couple of great shows, except, well, I injured my arm. I guess you can say. Uh, yeah, I, we had, a there was a birthday party yesterday, uh, at a uh, bowling alley and stuff, and they kept it open for us for, like, I don't know, about three hours, maybe, or something. And I bowled for about two and a half hours straight. <laughs> And so that was a lot of bowling, and I've never bowled so much in my entire life. So my fingers are really sore, and my arm was really sore. And during the show, uh, during one of the numbers, like when I go down the lift, and I have to run from underneath the stage and run up back to the barbecue deck, uh, I was trying to protect my guitar, but at the same time, like, my arm, like, I flailed it. I don't even remember why I flailed it, but, um... Yeah, I flailed it, and as I was running and trying to rush to get upstairs, I banged it against one of the beams, like this metal beam, and it hurt so bad. So, and uh, this is just to kind of support it and everything, but it stings really, really bad. I don't even know what kind of wrap this is or anything, but it stings a lot. And it was on too tight earlier. I didn't put it on, but I, I tried to make it a little bit looser, but my arm is just not feeling so well right now <laughs> but it will recover quick it's not like it's you know I mean it could have been a lot worse you know but yeah it will heal quick no big deal but uh yeah anyways they were a uh, they were awesome shows and uh yeah I'm gonna just show you the room really all I have to show you is you know it's a big room and I would post this right now, but unfortunately, uh, there's no internet connection right now. So I have to get this right out. Oh yeah, and I have the tail too. Huh, spandex pants. Huh, I love these pants. These pants are awesome. I got them as a Christmas present from Adam's mom. And again, thank you so much. I love them. I wear them a lot, actually. I do. And I love you. And I can't wait to see you again. Yeah. And, oh, let me hold, the bathroom. It's a small bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially it. But yeah, I also wanted to give a shout out to Khalid and say, happy birthday! Yay! Um, tomorrow we have a day off. Unfortunately, Adam's not going to be here until like probably that night. I don't know how late, because for them it's a 15 hour drive, so yeah, it will take a while. But I'm thinking on the day off, it's a required for me to do this, and you know, even still I'd want to do it anyways. You know, if dad didn't tell me, I would have been sad, but I probably would have found out about it one way or another, but <laughs> and it's, uh, I heard it's the, uh, in Milwaukee, there is the Harley Davidson factory, and I totally want to take the tour and get some cool souvenirs out of there. So I'm going to hit that tomorrow. That is my objective. and That and going to a post office and getting a box and sending more stuff home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, after we have our shows in Milwaukee, we go back to Montreal. Woohoo! I'm excited, actually. Like, I am and I'm not, but I, I pretty much am for the most part. And hopefully it's not going to be, like, wicked cold, which I would assume that it's going to be fairly cold. Because last time I was there, it was really, really nice. It was, like, summertime. And it was just turning into the fall, so. Oh, I forgot to mention. I was just curious about the magazines and stuff, and I found this 
in the magazine. It was just sitting here on the table. Well, I, I looked through it just out of curiosity about Milwaukee and stuff. But it was really cool. I'm going to take it home. Or I'm going to send it home. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, I really don't know what else to say. I'm just waiting for my bags right now. And I am overtired. I slept on the plane for, like, the last part of it. Like, I stayed awake to, uh, to get some food. <laughs> and I had some food. And then, uh... You know, I was playing Solitaire on my iPod. I play that game so much. I don't know why. I just, you know, I, I like that game so much. It's just like I'm always sitting there listening to my music and just playing it at the same time. And I keep sitting down in the same chair, but it's because I have all my stuff on that other couch. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, I fell asleep for probably, like, we were, like, well, they were saying that, oh, we're about to land soon and everything. And I guess, like, it was... Probably 20 minutes to almost half an hour before we actually even landed at all, I think. Because I fell dead asleep at the end. And then, like, even during taxiing, I don't even know how long that took, but I fell asleep until the lights were on again, or I heard that loud beep noise, and I was just like, oh. hold on a second. My bags just showed up. Yay! And I can get all settled in and I can get ready for bed and go to sleep. Oh, I don't even know what time I'm going to wake up. I don't even know what time it is right now. Now it's central time. It's stupid daylight savings time. I hate daylight savings time. It's just it's like I think it's just kind of stupid. I mean, I get their concept, but it's just really stupid. It's 2.27 in the morning. Otherwise, in Eastern Time, it would be like 327. Yeah. I'm wicked tired right now. So, yeah, I'm going to unpack my stuff and get settled in and then go to sleep. And I will tell you guys about the experience at the Harley-Davidson factory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys later.